playing is good for health, but those who love physics always try to find some new ideas in it. I have this ball in my hand and I am throwing this ball up and catch it again. While doing that, I am thinking about the instantaneous speed, instantaneous velocity and the instantaneous acceleration of this ball. So let's know about these concepts in detail. First, let's talk about instantaneous speed. It is the speed of a particle at any instant of time t. If ds is the distance traveled by the particle in a very small time dt, then the instantaneous speed of the particle at that time is given by v equal to ds by dt. That is, it is the rate of change of the distance with respect to time and hence from the differential calculus, we can say that the instantaneous speed at any time t is equal to the slope of the tangent line on the curve in the distance time graph at that time t. Here in this graph, the tangent line on the curve at time t makes an angle theta with the time axis, so the instantaneous speed at that time is v equal to tan theta. In this picture, I am throwing this ball along the vertically upward direction and we see that this ball goes up and then after some time it returns back into my hand. If we make a distance time graph of the motion of this ball, then it looks like this. Here in this animation, you can correlate the distance time graph with the actual motion of the ball. From this graph, it can be easily noticed that the distance traveled by the ball in a fixed time interval is more when it is at the lower position. Also you can see that the slope of the tangent line decreases to zero while the ball is going up and increases while it is going down. So the instantaneous speed of the ball is maximum when it is at the lowest position and zero at its highest position. This can also be visualized here in the speed time graph of the motion of this ball. Since the speed is a scalar quantity, so it doesn't depend on the direction of the motion of the particle and that's why it is always positive. But this is not exactly in case of the instantaneous velocity. Since velocity is a vector quantity, therefore you have to take care of the direction also. So let's talk about the instantaneous velocity then. Just like instantaneous speed, the instantaneous velocity at any time t is given by v equal to ds by dt. But in this case, ds is not distance, it is the displacement of the particle in very small time dt. If you have a displacement time graph, then instantaneous velocity at any time t is equal to the slope of the tangent line on the curve at that time. That is v equal to 10 theta. When I have thrown this ball along vertically upward direction, then the magnitude of the instantaneous velocity of the ball was maximum when it was at its lowest position and instantaneous velocity of the ball was zero when it was at its highest position. The direction of the instantaneous velocity of the ball when it was going up is along plus y axis that is along the upward direction and when it was going down is along the minus y axis that is along the downward direction. From this graph, you can see that the slope of the tangent line on the curve is positive while the ball was going up, zero at its maximum height and negative while the ball was going down. You can notice that the velocity of the ball is continuously changing and hence the ball must have some acceleration. The acceleration of the ball at any time t is known as instantaneous acceleration and it is given by the equation a equal to dv by dt. That is, it is the rate of change of the velocity with respect to time and hence it is the slope of the tangent line on the curve in the velocity time graph at that time t. If theta is the angle made by the tangent line with the time axis, then the instantaneous acceleration at any time t is a equal to 10 theta. In the velocity time graph, you can notice that the velocity of the ball is continuously decreasing with time and also the curve is a straight line, so the instantaneous acceleration throughout the motion is constant. Here in this animation, you can correlate the acceleration time graph with the actual motion of the ball. But do you know why the velocity of the ball is changing and why does it come back to us when we throw it along a vertically upward direction? Yeah, you are right, it is because of the gravitational pull by the earth and that's why the acceleration is called acceleration due to gravity. That is A equal to minus of G which is equal to minus 9.8 meter per second square. Why negative sign here? Because the acceleration is along the vertically downward direction that is along minus Y axis. Now let's solve a very basic and conceptual question on this topic. The question is, the position of a car is given by x equal to 10 plus 40 square minus 1 by 12 t6. 
then you have to find its acceleration at the second instant when the car has zero velocity. Here it is given that x equal to 10 plus 4t square minus 1 by 12 t6. So the instantaneous velocity of the particle is v equal to dx by dt which is equal to d by dt 10 plus 4t square minus 1 by 12 t6 and it will give you the value of 8t minus 0.5 t5. So the instantaneous acceleration of the car will be a equal to dv by dt which is equal to 8 minus 2.5 t4. From equation 2, when the velocity is 0, the equation will be 0 equal to 8t minus 0.5 t5 and which will give you the value of t equal to 0 and 2 seconds. What does that mean? It means that the car has 0 velocity at t equal to 0 second and t equal to 2 second. That is the acceleration of the car at the second instant when the car has 0 velocity is given by 8 minus 2.5 into 2 to the power 4 which is equal to minus 32 meter per second square. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then kindly subscribe to it and press the notification bell to be notified about our new videos.